do. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to run two reports from the quick charge system that are going to help you with this assignment. Now remember, the goals of this assignment are twofold. We're thinking ahead beyond casino night. We're thinking to our regular normal operating hours. We want to figure out what hours that we're going to be open in the back of house. That's number one. Number two, we're going to figure out what the standard back of house menu is. So I'm going to show you how to run two reports from the system, use our existing data to help you critically analyze and make smart decisions around these two things. So let's focus on the hours first. All right. Quick charge isn't perfect, but they do have some reports that are pretty helpful. So you go to actions, run reports. You choose a report category, you go to all reports select a report. So the report that we're running is the hourly sales detail report. And we're going to group it by product. It really doesn't matter what we group it by for this report. The next report that will be more important. And school started on August 26th. So let's go ahead and choose that as our first date. And we'll end it today. And the time interval that makes the most sense to me, I think, is hours. So we're going to choose a 60-minute time interval. And let's go. So the way Quick Charge creates his reports is it sticks them in the queue while they're being created. And then a few seconds later, it will be complete, and you can open up the report. In progress. Don't ask me why it does it this way. Okay, here it is. You double click, and then you can take a look at the hourly sales report. So remember, our goal is to figure out what hours we want to be open. So really, we want to look and see what hours are we selling the most. So here's a report. It's from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And you see that we sold a total of $35. So 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. isn't the most profitable time for our business. Just anecdotally, I've noticed a ton of kids in the Leadership Center after school but before sports. So let's take a look at that time frame. That's like about 3 to 4 probably. Here, 3 to 4 o'clock right here. All right, looks like we're selling an awful lot of stuff. And the hourly total is $614, all right? So this is the kind of critical analysis that I want you to do. We need to set the hours not only for the school day, but also for the weekend. Um, so if you're looking at weekends, you might want to uh, limit your report to just the weekends that we've been what kind of hours people are shopping at the store as well. Okay? So in the discussion, once you've run this report, I want you to go to the Canvas assignment, and in the discussion, I want you to talk about what hours that you think we should be open and how we should be staffed. All right? While I'm in this same video, I'm going to run you the second report. This report is more based on sort of products. Um, now it's back of house products, so it's probably more relevant that this assignment be, um, be done after casino night so we can see how the back of house did. But I'll show you how to do the report now, so you just have to watch one video. So we'll go all reports, we'll go sales detail report. And we're going to group this one by product, okay? And we'll use those same dates. 826 to 9-4. Okay, so here we are. Now you can see exactly how many biscottis we've sold, how many outputs, how many circus animals. So this can be really helpful not only in ordering inventory, you can say, huh, we're really selling a lot of M&Ms. We should never run out of M&Ms. 
mini gummy burgers, that sort of thing. But also what your customers you know, favor. Arnold Palmer is a huge seller, so we want to make sure we don't run out of that. And so I think what would be great is after casino night, we ran this sales report for the back of house and we say, hey, how did our stuff sell? And is there anything that we want to make sort of permanently part of our back of house menu? So if you see that Oreo milkshakes sold really well, you definitely want Oreo milkshakes to be part of your permanent back of house menu. So this is the data that you're going to use to complete this assignment.